In a deeply personal message, Princess Catherine and Prince William have opened up about Catherine's journey with cancer, sharing inspiring words of hope and resilience that have resonated with people across the United Kingdom and beyond. Despite the daunting challenge, Catherine has refused to be defined by her illness. Instead, she has embraced it as an opportunity for self-discovery, personal growth, and a renewed commitment to her own well-being and that of her family and her people. In a televised address yesterday, Princess Catherine and Prince William took the nation into their confidence, sharing intimate details of Catherine's journey so far and the invaluable lessons she has learned along the way. This has undoubtedly been the most difficult and challenging period of our lives, began Catherine, her voice steady but tinged with emotion. But as we have reflected on the past year, William and I have also come to appreciate the profound gifts that have emerged from this experience. The princess went on to explain how her diagnosis has led her to reevaluate her priorities and focus on her own self care in ways she had never done before. For so long, I placed the needs of others before my own, believing that was the path to fulfillment and purpose. But this illness has taught me that true strength comes from knowing when to be still, to listen to the needs of my mind and body, and to surround myself with the support and love of those closest to me. Catherine candidly shared how the rigors of her treatment, including chemotherapy and radiation, have taken a significant toll, leaving her fatigued and occasionally in pain. Yet, she has found solace in practices like meditation, gentle yoga, and spending time in nature activities that have helped her manage the physical and emotional side effects of her cancer journey. There have been moments of great despair, when the uncertainty of the future has threatened to overwhelm me, she acknowledged. But I have also discovered a wellspring of inner resilience that I never knew existed. With the unwavering support of my husband, my family, and my medical team, I have learned to be kinder and more compassionate with myself, to honor my body's need for rest and restoration, and to not judge myself harshly when the going gets tough. Prince William, sitting beside his wife, nodded solemnly as Catherine spoke. He then took the opportunity to highlight the importance of mental health support for those facing serious illnesses. Throughout this ordeal, we have been deeply moved by the outpouring of love and concern from the British public, he said. And we know that many of you are also facing your own health challenges, whether physical or mental. It is essential that we continue to destigmatize conversations around illness and provide robust, accessible resources to support those in need. The Prince went on to announce the launch of a new initiative, spearheaded by the Royal Foundation, that will expand access to counselling, support groups, and wellness programmes for individuals and families affected by cancer and other life-threatening conditions. Catherine and I are committed to using our platform to shine a light on the crucial role of holistic, compassionate care in the healing process, William stated. No one should have to face these battles alone. The couple's openness and vulnerability have struck a deep chord with the nation, with an outpouring of messages of support and admiration flooding social media and news outlets. Princess Catherine has always been a source of inspiration, but her strength and resilience during this challenging time are truly awe-inspiring, said one commenter on the royal family's official Instagram page. She is showing the world that even in the face of adversity, we can choose to grow, to heal, and to emerge even stronger than before. Another wrote, What a beautiful and powerful message. To hear the future Queen Consort speak so candidly about her struggles with mental health and self-care is so important. She is truly leading by example and giving others the courage to prioritize their own well-being. Indeed, Catherine's openness about her journey has resonated deeply with women and men across the country who have faced their own health battles. Many have shared how her words have validated their experiences, 
and inspired them to be more compassionate with themselves. As a cancer survivor myself, I was deeply moved by Princess Catherine's honesty and vulnerability, shared one woman on a local community forum. She has reminded me that it's okay to not be okay sometimes, and that taking time to nurture ourselves is not selfish, but necessary for our healing and recovery. Another individual posted, I lost my mother to cancer a few years ago, and watching Catherine's journey has stirred up a lot of emotions for me. But her message of hope and resilience is exactly what I needed to hear. She is proof that even in the darkest of times, we can find the strength to carry on. It is clear that Catherine's journey has struck a universal chord, transcending the boundaries of social status or background. Her willingness to share her struggles and triumphs has created a sense of shared experience and camaraderie that is uplifting the nation during a challenging time. As the princess herself eloquently stated, this illness does not define me. It is simply a chapter in my story, one that has challenged me to grow, to love more deeply, and to find joy in the smallest of moments. And I am determined to emerge from this experience as an even stronger, more empowered version of myself. With the unwavering support of her husband, her family, and the British public, Catherine is indeed demonstrating an inspiring resilience that is giving hope to countless individuals facing their own health battles. William and I are profoundly grateful for the outpouring of love and support we have received, she said her eyes shining with emotion. It is a humbling reminder that we are not alone in this journey, and that together, we can overcome any obstacle that stands in our way. As the couple concluded their address, there was a palpable sense of unity and shared purpose in the air. The nation stood with Catherine and William, ready to support them in whatever way they needed, whether through prayer, advocacy, or simply holding space for their healing. In this moment of vulnerability and courage, the future Queen Consort has shown the world that true strength lies not in stoicism or perfection, but in the willingness to be authentic, to seek support, and to prioritize one's own well-being. It is a powerful message that is sure to echo for years to come, inspiring others to follow in Catherine's footsteps and embrace the transformative power of self-care. Thanks for watching till the end. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more updates.